Hey everybody, this is the Vegan Carburetor, and today my channel is in the toilet. Okay, I'm going to show you some basic repairs. There's one that I have made a few weeks back, and that is with this. Because the toilet was running off and on, filling up with water, because there was a leak. So, this thing this red thing snaps off and it's not easy to do you don't want to break it so it's tough to do this Gee. anyway oh. Once you get the cap off, there's something you take off. And then there's the seal. There's two, two plastic things that are supposed to seal together. Prevent the water from coming out. Yeah, I should explain. The water comes into the toilet through down here, the bottom of the tank. And that, that happens when you flush the toilet here. This lifts up. The water leaves here and goes into the bowl, causing this thing to drop. And then water get, can come through. Now today, I have a new problem. And that's with the seal down here. This thing is supposed to seal down at the bottom there, only allowing water to get through when this lifts up when you flush. So the first thing you do is remove this hose, and we're going to get this thing out of here. Now I watched a video yesterday of someone showing how to do this, how to unhook this. He spent 20 minutes making this video. The, the lighting was bad. Oh yeah, he kept saying what he's gonna do. And he never, he kept saying it without doing much. So I can do better than that. That's why I decided to make, why I decided to film this. Okay, this thing turns counterclockwise like this. But with most things in this toilet it gets corroded and so it gets hard to turn. So about 20 minutes ago I put I poured some vinegar down there. Actually this whole thing this connects at the bottom. It's all one part. So when you unscrew this your the, the part that's unscrewing is down near the bottom. I put some vinegar down there. And, I, to, and to be on the safe side, I wouldn't want to turn it from up here because the thing could break. So now I'm going to attempt to unscrew this. I'm going to grab it from further down below. I want to adjust the camera there. There it is. Still getting stacked, just like in that other video. Is uh, what the? Oh, there. Yeah, it's it's unhooked. Okay. So sticky. First time doing this here. So I really haven't seen this before. Yeah, so this part here goes right into that. You can see how it fits in there. Okay. 
So my problem has to be this seal. It's a red piece of rubber. And I've already cleaned it by sticking my hand down there. <coughs> but it was running a lot. It was good for a while, then it started running more than ever. And so I needed to take a better look at this. And everything looks good. Getting a good look at this from an angle. Okay, now I'm going to look down here. Oh, oh that looks good too. <laughs> but anyway, that is how you remove this thing. So I got that. Taken care. I accomplished that for this video. But see how the the water leaked down to this level. It didn't, it didn't go any further. Which means the lake is right around there. <laughs> The thing that you would do normally is buy another seal, this red circular thing, at a hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot. But this thing looks okay. But, maybe, you know, these things get warped. I might, I might not be able to just tell by looking at it. put it uh, back together for now. Another thing is to well, wipe it with vinegar. See, I have to scrape off some crust before. So you want to make sure you get crust. Now that that's done, I'm using vinegar. I also heard something else. What was that? Oh. Baby shampoo. Yeah. Put that on. Put that on the seal. And it makes, makes the seal better. I don't think you leave on. Do you? Yeah, you want to leave on. Well, it's going to wash away anyway. It just helps the seal to be better at its job. So, yeah, so that, if it still doesn't hold, I'll just buy a new seal. Now I'll put this together. I've never done this before. And this also shows how easy it can, how easy it can be. 
to repair the toilet maintenance. Okay. sticking mm -hmm. scrape some of this anyway thumbs up share subscribe this video is about to end I also, oh, I had an idea of putting something with some weight onto this and then letting it sit to test if the water still leaks. If it doesn't, then that is where the problem is. So I'm going to try that out. Thumbs up.